Hello there internet, Mob White here, and no, I am not dead. As you can tell, I'm alive and I'm back with the video. I'm sorry for the absence these past few days. I honestly was a little bit worn out, you know. It's not like I was tilted or upset at the game or anything like that. It's just that we've been on quite the uh, homebrew uh, craze lately, I guess. I've been building uh, decks back to back for the channel, and I'm pretty happy with uh, what I've been brewing. But at the same time, uh, it took a little bit out of me. It's like we're near the end of the season with War of the Spark. The core set 2020 is upon us, and I'm obviously very excited for that. I'm also uh, going to be a part of the streamer event, as I was invited by Wizards of the Coast. I think I am allowed to say that. Yes, they announced it like a couple of days ago, I think. Okay, I didn't fuck up because <laughs> I have to be confidential about it until that point. But now, yeah, they announced it on Twitter. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I don't have to start the recording. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be a part of the uh, the streamer event and I'm very excited for that. And I just needed a, a bit of a break, honestly. Like I was pretty worn out uh, and I didn't want to force myself to play the game and force myself to make like bad decks. And I, I just felt like, you know, mentally... I, I kind of like earned a few days off from YouTube, even though I haven't been the, the super most consistent at English as always and uh, on YouTube lately because I, I have, uh, you know, certain weeks missed uh, one or two uploads here and there. Uh, but I haven't really taken a break as, as big as this one. And uh, yeah, I feel like I needed it, honestly. And I think you guys can understand um, I'm pretty recharged in that sense. And I'm going to be. Uh, going back to some of these decks and uh, playing a little bit more with them and uh, on top of that I will be reviewing the core set card soon. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the cards that uh, impress me the most and uh, I'll give a solid review on them and I'll, I'll talk about you know what where I expect to see them being played and just how relevant they'll be and all that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to go cool story Bob time on some <laughs> magic cards. Uh, you know it is uh, different than the usual content that we post here right like we tend to just focus on standard decks but anyways today i just feel like smacking on some mono red so today i'm gonna take my boy pig god reanimator aka big boy bully and i'm gonna try to bully some mono reds in best of one this deck is uh well tuned for best of three and i have showcased that in best of three in, uh, in the past but today i just feel like running into mono red and i don't think i'm gonna do so if i play best of three because there's just no real presence of mono red in best of three right now like the deck has actually dropped quite a bit uh from standard best of three at least uh it did so the last time i played because like i said i've taken uh quite a few days off from magic right so uh regardless we are gonna take some pig god reanimator onto best of one rank almost mixed it there and hopefully we can run into just some uh aggro decks some stompy decks you know simple decks that we can uh try to out muscle and have a good time doing so. Never, it's never a bad day to play some Pig God Reanimator. Let me tell you that. And I like this hand. Everything about it. I like the uh, Ricks and the Tormenting Voice that I can go for. Oh my god. I don't like the fact that this seems to be Esper. Yep. Definitely seems to be the case. We're going to drop a Dragon Skull Summit. And I believe... I'm gonna go for the Rick's Mighty Reveler. And I'm going to flood myself, but thankfully I have Tormenting Voice. I didn't want to play uh, necessarily into a. Ooh, that's a cool Dovin. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will hold. This is actually annoying. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. <laughs> what a dick. Alright, let's go with Tormenting Voice. Let's drop a swamp here. And uh, let's draw some more lands, because why not? No no real point in attacking. So we're facing a Super Friends deck in best of one. Not really what my target was. Obviously, we have the sideboard for this. But uh, it doesn't really matter, because we're not... I, I can bedevil this Dovin if I, if I need to next turn, which I may. It depends on what my opponent does here. Okay, good boy Teferi. Right on schedule. Hmm. That's more like it. Looking to elevate yourself? Perhaps a pair of stilts. Hmm. There's no point in me rushing the uh, Bond of Revival. Because unfortunately I have no uh, big boy creature in my hand. So what I'm going to do... Is I believe I'm just going to bedevil this. That go according to plan. And next turn I can shock the Dovin. Or 
the Narset? Probably the Narset. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. Sloppy technique. It'd be nice for me to uh, stop drawing lands. You know, uh, I, I think we're we're uh, in a very clear case of. You know, a flood versus a screw scenario here. I'd be less frustrated if you had fewer flaws. Oh my god, dude. Alright, well. There's I don't really see a point in me going for the bond of revival here, honestly. Like I'd rather just um I'd rather just hold on to it. Eventually, like, I have a feeling he's a Zorius, or is it? Yeah, like, uh, sorry, is it? <laughs> Just got. Alright. Every day is a new lesson. Mm, Alright, so Kazmina. I'm not sure there's uh, much I can do here. If I keep drawing lands. If I draw into a creature, maybe I... Okay, so he just sacrifices Dovin. There are many who have turned weakness into a virtue. All right, Palaka, my boy Palaka. About time you came here. I, I can't, I can't hard cast you, Palaka, and that makes me a little bit sad. Not gonna lie. Uh, the question is, should I go face or should I attack? Um... Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna reanimate our pig, and uh, then we're going to. I think attack you because that way we kill Casmina, which is pretty nice. And we can send Palaka Worm to the face. Narset is something that I would I would want to kill. Because Narset does kind of stop my strategy. Of like drawing, like if I if I top deck Tormenting Voice or something, but is it worth me directing 7 damage to it? I don't know about that. I honestly don't know about that. Let's add this battle to your record of bad Okay, that's um Perhaps a pair of stilts. That's interesting. Hmm. Should I kill this Dovin? I, I have a feeling I should. I should just attack um, with the Palaka to face. Because he doesn't seem to have an answer for this. This is a rare occasion. I'm not often wrong. <laughs> Humble guy. All right, we're attacked with pig, Palaka, smart face. I should not be ignoring Narset, but I am. Oh wow. Oh, he's he's starting to block. He's starting to feel the pressure, and that's good because that that opens up uh, the path for my Ricks to attack. See, he's getting really punished for, like, dropping that prison realm, it seems. <laughs> wow. I actually won that game. Flood versus screw, ladies and gentlemen. But at the end of the day, all you need is a pig and a worm. Pig and a worm. <laughs> Hashtag pig and worm. All right. Well, I'm surprised I won that one. But then again, that game played out in a weird way. Uh, like I said, my opponent was stuck at three mana. And he also, I mean, to be fair, he dropped a very reliable card like I'm, I'm i would like to see his entire hand considering he dropped like the one answer to my <laughs> to my pig i i i don't think he saw it coming I, I don't think he realized i was gonna reanimate that thing which at the same time is a little bit surprising because at this point this deck is pretty popular like i'm not trying to come off like oh i'm i'm mr famous uh card boy youtuber here 
and my decks are like should be known by anybody like i'm not trying to come off like that but i've seen a lot of people like tell me that they're they faced uh, this deck a lot right so but maybe that guy just didn't <laughs> oh look makes a big shot <laughs> uh leave a like for pretentiousness i think i'm gonna keep this hand uh, most definitely we have double card draw here with uh like these always feel great and the fact that we have our resurrection card in our hand as well is very nice let's see if we face yet another super friends deck or a mono red if we're facing mono red we're on the draw and we have no uh removal which does actually make us vulnerable to that but in best of one you kind of like roll the dice at the beginning of the game and you go with what you have and you hope for the best <laughs> that's how best of one magic plays out a lot of times uh i'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit hungover i actually went out and had some drinks with uh with my girlfriend yesterday i did not go out in <laughs> when was the last time i got drunk i can't remember i'm boring as hell <laughs> so I probably would have had my editors cut this out, but... <laughs> oh my god. I was just talking for like five minutes, and I realized I forgot to, to click on the keep seven. And I, th I thought my opponent was like taking his time. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? I was like talking about my life and shit, and I, I didn't realize... But good thing I'll, I'll, I'll have that cut out <laughs> for you. I, I won't waste like... <laughs> Oh my god, I was just talking in front of my camera like this guy's taking his time and then I'm like wait I didn't I didn't click on the button. I guess I'm rusty man. My MTG arena skills are rusty as hell. Alright, it is mono red. <laughs> I, I I went on a quite the ramble about, you know, the fact that our hand is pretty solid, but it's not really that good if we're going against mono red because we are on the draw and we have no immediate removal, right? So while it's a good hand because we have access to card draw and our reanimation we do need to draw into stuff and things and stuff to you know kills it kills the things and stuff basically a uh, runaway steamkin okay runaway steamkin would have been very scary uh via sheena power Mancer is also threatening but uh can be potentially managed if i can find um a cry of the carnarium and holy fuck that is a lot of uh Yikes. All right, we do have Honor the Guard Pharaoh. That can enable us to generate a blocker that will potentially eat one of his, you know, removal cards. I really, really, really hope I can make it to, uh, well, more so than make it to mana five, it's all about, like, finding a creature. Because it, it, it's unfortunate because his hand was uh, ultimately very, very promising. Like, when I see two sources of card draw, a good mana base, and my revival card, like, that's always a keeper, right? But, this could be the wrong hand in this in this matchup. Our opponent could prove to be uh, too quick for us. We have a lot of removal in this deck, but if we can't find it... Our opponent seems to be struggling with um, his next line of play. He's wondering about the intricacies disease and my English, and, uh, you know... The intricacies and, and the complex decision making that lies between either zapping me or doing nothing. What good quality gameplay we got in store for you today. Let me tell you something. Holy fuck. Just outstanding. Okay, there's my big boy. Okay, he seems to be back. So, I just basically... I just basically avoided like a lot of damage and next turn i'll be able to bond and revival at galta so mort is here probably had his mother tell him to stop playing magic and mort is like mom enough leave me alone don't tell me what to do oh what is this okay I'm gonna play some mind games here. Well, we're gonna play uh, Rick's Mighty Reveler. 
and we are going to discard Galta and then just bring back Galta and uh, try to potentially two-shot our opponent. Like, I may just attack with Galta, to be honest. Because I haven't taken that much damage. Obviously, my opponent's ho holding a Shock or a Wizard's Lightning. He's... Okay, I, I was going to drop a, a Stomping Ground, but I'm going to play another Rix here. Because I need the blockers. The only way I lose this game is, is if he like kills me in the span of two turns. Like he need he needs to kill me in two turns basically. Because next turn I'm going to I'm going to resurrect, you know, big boy bully here. I'm going to smack him in the face and then I'm going to attack him again. And it turns out, you know, versus mono red that that seems a lot of times is enough. This thing is a problem though. This thing uh can deal quite a bit of damage to me. Okay. Okay, so if I block this, uh, next turn he has a total of 5 damage, potentially, um... If he blocks with the Phoenix, though, he, he puts himself in... I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna block this. I should... I should be fine if I do this. I'm just going big boy dino, I'm going face. That's the only way I win this game. I don't win this game by just... I don't know why he did not... I don't know why he didn't block with the Phoenix though. M Muertes, what, what are you doing? Right, that's you know that's a big hit six seven eight it's funny because if he had completed it, it sucks to say but if he had not missed that turn you know that turns attacks he would actually have lethal he, he he's missed out on lethal because of that turn in which he kind of like didn't do anything which just goes to show, because if, if this match, if I go first, I don't even have to worry about that. Like, if I go first, this game is, like, this particular match is so much easier. It just goes to show, like, just how relevant that is in the current meta. Okay, so we have, uh, we have the ability to bond the revival something. But I'd rather have Bedevil in the back. I'm going to attack here with my boy, um, Galta. So if I attack with Galta, wait, let, 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 let's think here. I just kill him, right? Like, let, let's just make sure. I kill this. That's three, nine, yeah. I don't even know why I'm pondering so much about this. <laughs> math. <laughs> Pro plays. Ah, you don't need to do math when you got a big boy bully here. All right, easy peasy. Like I said in my prior video, magic is easy. You attack twice and you win. <laughs> okay, we're climbing, boys. Um, honestly, that was not really deserved, though. Uh, he skipped the turn because of his mother getting in the way. I, I, if, if I was Mortis, I'd be pissed, honestly. But that's why he's got to find his own home, man. Become independent so he can, you know, be a true competitive magic player. But like I said, you know, th those kind of games really make me think about how polarized... Like, specifically in this metagame. In th this metagame, it feels worse than others. I'm going to keep this. Despite it only being a two-lander, I do have a Rix. And what seems to be a very promising... You know, curve, if I manage to... 
to actually draw into lands. I'm gonna drop Rix and I'm gonna discard the uh, Illurg. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's see what he opts to do. Because a smart fella would take Honor the God Pharaoh. But he could also take Bedevil. So Esper is easily one of our worst matchups. Okay, I'm happy he took Bedevil. Prefer having this card. I can get rid of the Cry of the Carnarium. Even though he could be Hero. We got the shock anyways. Calculated. Is that the fairy? It's the fairy. I am not going to sit this one out. Here we go. Only time will tell. I'm going to keep, uh, you know, both Shock and Bedevil enabled here. And I'm going to see if I can draw into a nice revival card. Oath of Kaya. Well, rip. I'm going to drop the Shock. Gonna play the swamp. Not gonna take any unnecessary damage for now. Sorry, I'm late. Gonna bedevil the Teferi, and uh, this is the time. This is the moment to go for uh, you know the revival. I, w I could really use Bond of Revival here. Like the thing about this matchup is that it's it's so it's so bad initially. But like I said, post sideboard we actually do have a really good chance. We have a very well designed sideboard for this. Okay, well, we repeat the process. The problem with these exchanges is that we're we're losing a two for one trade here every time. So even though we are answering to Fairy, our opponent, as you can see, is getting a much bigger hand than us. But uh, no land in it, shockingly enough. Uh, we're stuck with Palakas here. I guess I should have discarded the uh, the Palak. That's one of the things. That's one of the uh, hard calls to make with this deck. Sometimes. Sometimes discarding Illarg from the get-go is not really the correct decision to make. Well, sometimes it is. Obviously, it's hard to believe a world in which Illarg here doesn't get answered. Like, he has six cards. He's going to have seven cards. He seems to not have any land. So all those cards... Okay, he's blocking. That's nice. All those cards do something. Like, every single card in his hand does something. So in an Esper control deck, it's very hard to believe that with a hand packed of cards that do stuff... He's not going to be able to answer this. Now, my question is, when he does answer this, do I do I trigger Illurg or do I not? Unless he Teferi tucks him, then I don't really have a choice, right? But do I proc him or not? Because if I draw another Bond of Revival, I have lethal. So, I'm going to decline. Because if I top deck another Bond of Revival I, and he doesn't counter me, I just kill him. Or, or not. Cry every time. Oh, did it matter, right? <laughs> Third to fair. All right. I won't. No time for a break. I mean, at this point, uh, I either draw into something. Uh, that can get me out of this scenario, or I draw into a land, then I think it's time to call it, you know, a day.
So just just out of curiosity. In that matchup, uh, yeah, I bring the Duresses, the Elder Spells, the Carney T's, and Commander Dreadhorde with the Angrats Rampage. I, re I really like this deck in this best of three. Maybe I should have made a best of three video. But then again, I just wanted to have some simple games and capitalize on, on Mono Red, right? <laughs> it's funny because I ran into more like Planeswalker decks than uh, aggro decks in best of one. Which is not what I was anticipating. Um. Mm. Yeah, this hand's gotta go. I mean, I have double Cry of the Carnarium, but I am so dependent on my draws here. That's better. I'll keep that there. That's a good discard target. Alright, Swamp. That that already makes me worry a little bit. I'm gonna lead off with the Stomping Ground. Okay, I, it's actually, like, I thought this was, like, another Esper, but it's actually a Mono Black. Oh my god! Uh, I should have dropped the blood crypt. I I don't know. I I don't know what. I I can't really explain this. I don't know what happened there. Regardless, I'm gonna have to take two extra damage because I'm an idiot. But I will be able to not die to to zombies. At least not at the stage. This is very promising. Though, like this hand is super legit. Shoutouts to Tyson89 from bringing Mono Black to Mythic. Go you. Go you, bruh. Uh, do I want a tally? Or do I want to... I, I, I want to actually send a tally down. Because I, I dream big. Go big or go home, man. I want to bond the revival a tally. And just get some crazy swings happening. Steal, steal his fucking zombies. Oh, yikes. Well, let's take the hit. This this thing does not have... Um, let's go with this. Wonderful, Itali. Wonderful, my dude. Fan-fucking-tastic. W well done. Well done. Well, ho <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> oh my, what shit that do? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, um, I kind of want to play raise boar. Why not play Raise Boar? In the pig god we trust. Easy. Easy peasy. Palaka worm! For the wet! <laughs> not bad. I thought I was fucked there for a second. Like, oh man, T Tyson's got me. Because the uh, the Death Touch, you know, the the, the, uh, the Death Touch shenanigans actually work out pretty well against me. And Walkard? Actually, I'll take that. I don't know, I think I have a couple of them. I don't have three, so having a third one, yeah, maybe... maybe this, is a, this is actually a very good card. How long is that? We've been at it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I think that's good enough. I'm, I'm going to try to record a few videos today, so I, I think that's good. I, I got to play some more Pig uh, God Reanimator. Let me know if you want to see more of this deck on the channel. Like, it's the third video that I made on it, but <laughs> it just never gets old. If you do want to see some more Big Boy Bullies, um, I will uh, bring a best of three session next time around. Uh, definitely, you know, I, I already recorded the video, right? But I do kind of regret going with best of one. Uh, I really like this deck sideboard. I should have played best of three. I, I just I thought I was gonna face more. I mean, I did face one mono red, right? So it's not like, you know, I was that unlucky with the matchups and such. So yeah, I fucking love this deck. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like for pigs, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. It's all day. I'll see you around.